But it's a private school. We were talking, sweetheart, and we think it might be a good idea if you got away for a while. You mean live there? Well, uh, you wouldn't have to, only if you like it. I don't want a girls' school. Well, it's not a girls' school. It's boys and girls. I'd cancel my appointments for the rest of the day. I thought we'd just drive over and take a look. Dump. We'll see. Dr. Rice will be right with you. Thank you. Dr. Vaughn. I'm Chris Rice. Doctor, my wife, Helen. Hello. Hello. This is my daughter, Susan. Hi, Susan. Hi, Susan. I'm Jean. Hi. I'm Wendy. We're druggies, too. Where am I? What do you mean, druggies, too? I'm no druggie. Sweetheart, we had no alternative. It's a place, a treatment program for kids on drugs. Uh, well, you, this business you said in there about um, another girl leading her places. By the forearm. What are those girls? Wendy. Why? To let her know that she's not trusted, that her life is out of control, and that someone cares. Hi, hon. Hi, Mom. This is Susan Bauer. She's my beginner. Hello, Susan. She's a real garbage head. Get in front, dear. Night, Susan. I was cussing him out and everything. I remember him saying, Carol, come back. Don't leave like this. My parents were always afraid something terrible would happen to me. They saw this dead look in my eyes. That I was going to end up dead, too. I used to think how my dad would feel if he had to come and see me dead. I 
and he had to identify my body. Are you laughing? Stand up a minute. Why are you laughing? Where are you with this? I think it's stupid. Um, Wendy. You laugh at me. Come on. You know, I'm sick of you. I really am. Ever since you've been here, all you do is sit there like you're so smart and we're all out of it. Well, you're the one that's out of it. The chick's cool, you guys. The girl's been around. I don't care what you say. Uh, Tina. I can't believe you. You think you're real hot stuff, don't you? I'm not like you, okay? Sure, I do drugs, but I can handle it. I'm not out there in the gutter. Look, let me tell you something. You don't come here to play games, okay? She's thinking, who the hell are you to tell me? She's going, who do you think you are? This is your life. This is everybody's life in here. You don't come here to screw around. Would you look at her when she talks to you? We're sick of your crap. And we're not going to put up with it anymore. Because all you are is a hurting little girl. You're just a hurting little druggie, just like the rest of us. I care about you. I really do. You may not know that right now. I don't know what to do. I, I don't think you care about yourself. Okay, let's wrap it up now. One more. Uh, Wendy. Look, I know you have feelings. Because I've heard you cry in bed at night. And it would really help you if you just admit it. Just say what you felt. I was scared to talk about my feelings, too. The things you did in your past, okay, we all did a lot of bad things. But I finally talked about them. I said what I felt. I did it because I'd rather do that than keep it all inside. I know how bad it hurts you, Susan. We do this every Tuesday and Saturday nights. As parents, you're required to be here just as much as your child is. Part of getting well for both of you is being able to talk about what drugs have done to your lives, the behavior it created, the trouble it got you into, and the really gut-tearing, bad feelings that these kids still have. Now, to do this alone would be impossible. So we require that every kid that's here for a week, at least, stand up before the staff, before his peers, before her parents, and tell his or her story. In return, we ask that what is said here, what is done here, stay here. Uh, my name is Linda. I'm 16 years old. Uh, the drugs I've, I've done are uh, alcohol, pot, uh, tip, PCP, LSD, uh, cocaine, upper down subscriptions, uh, heroin, and I uh, used drugs for four years. Um, Talk about your past. Uh, Yes, um, uh, I'd shoot up, you know, every day, a couple times a day. Uh, it's what it costs a lot, so, um, I turn tricks.